Question four. So a fairly standard histogram question. Now the key learning point, remember with histograms, the frequency is the area. So the number of times something happened is represented by the area in the histogram. So we look for where we have both the bar and, and in the histogram and the information. Now that's in the first category. So we know that 160, um, 160 people, so the area's got to be 160 for between 0 and 10, so here. So this column uh, it represents 160 people. Now we've got four squares, so how much must each square represent? Well, clearly that's going to be 160 divided by 4, which is 40. So I know that each square in this histogram represents 40 people. So that bit in blue is my key bit of learning. So now we've got to fill in the missing pieces. So how many people are between 10 and 25? Well that's a square and a half. Well a square is 40, half a square is 20, so 40 plus 20 is 60. Between 25 and 30, well that's half a square and half a square. So a whole square, so that's why that's 40. And then working the other way, between 30 and 40, we need to represent 100 people. Well, 40 people per square, so that's two and a half squares. So a 40, a 40, and half a square. So that bar there is my bar for between 30 and 40, going up two and a half squares. And then finally, my final bar spreads from 40 to 70. It needs to show 120 people, three squares, and it's three squares wide, so that's simple. So we just go one square, one square, one square, 40, 40, 40. 120. So this final bar is uh, is um, three wide. Note this dotted line is not really part of the final answer. That's just helping me explain what's going on. Our final answer should be a ruled line across halfway across that square and down here, down here, along here, and down here. Question five is the same idea, but it's much more complicated with the squares. So sorry about that. Um, so we're looking for the one where we got both bits of information. On this occasion, that's between 1 and 2 being an area of 30. And 1 and 2 we can see is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of these big squares, 6 of these 10 by 10 little squares. Okay, so each big square represents a 5, but each big square comprises 10 little squares by 10 little squares. So in, in other words, 100 little squares represents 5 students. So, um, how many uh, students have we got between here and here? Well, counting the little squares, it's 5 by 16, which is 80 little squares. Well, remember, 100 little squares was 5 people. Dividing by 5, that means 20 little squares is 1 people. And so, multiplying by 4, 80 little squares represents 4 people. So, here we've got 80 little squares, so that's 4 people. So check you've got four there. If you were copying me in the classroom, I think I'd made a mistake at that point. I think I had less than four, like three and three quarters or something. So make sure you've got an answer of four there. Now, for the um, the, the bar between half and one, uh, we've got uh, we've got 100 squares there, five along and 20 up. Another 100, another five people here, five along and 20 up. So another another little little hundred squares is five. Another one here. That just leaves us with a little five by four, which is twenty little squares. Twenty little squares is one person. So five, ten, fifteen, sixteen people here, and then over here again, we're just counting the squares to get twenty-one and eight.